Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Today, guys, I got another one for you, and this is a rock bottom deal. Uh, in my years of, of buying watches and working with different companies, this has got to be one of the best values that I've seen in quite some time. Now, again, there's always got to be good deals with Invicta. There's always going to be good deals with Aragon. You're going to find them, but this is something I haven't really seen any other company do, and get this. This is a genuine bronze dive watch. So for you folks who love the micro brand styles, who love the bronze look, and if you're not familiar with bronze, uh, bronze is uh, commonly used in the marine industry um, it due to its uh, ability to withstand corrosion. Bronze is awesome. And there's something really, I don't know, very, um, you maybe use the wrong word here, but kind of like, pirate like you know what I mean it kind of when I look at something bronze I kind of feel like this old school kind of like old battleship old pirate ship kind of vibe right and I absolutely love bronze watches the problem with bronze is most times especially for a micro brand an automatic micro brand you're going to pay quite a bit more than this is going for so let's check it out here without further ado Aqua C's brand new uh I'm going to call it the Cousin 8 it's C Capital C, lowercase u, capital S, N8. So it's like Cousin 8. Uh, I think I'm saying that right, but again, I just got this watch today. Uh, the gentleman over at Aqua C, uh, next day, aired it to me just because the sale is going to be ending tonight at midnight. So I encourage you guys uh, to pick this up while you can. Uh, check this out. Oh, man, bronze. And what's cool about bronze is that you have the rose tone look, which is extremely popular nowadays uh, in, in jewelry and watches, but you're not getting something that's plated. You're getting genuine bronze, so you can beat the hell out of this and not worry about any kind of problem with the finishing. Um, this is kind of something that I... When I think about wearing watches, like going out on the boat, crabbing, uh, going out, kind of being around the water, or just doing things that I want to have like that gold look, but I'm just not willing to, to take the risk to maybe damage my watch. This is awesome because Braun will, will develop a nice patina over the years uh, and just get this really old, dated, weathered kind of look. So uh, this is part of their uh, their brand new, uh, they call their exotic face variation. So it's available, I believe, five or six different variations. I'm going to tell you about those in a second. But check, check it out. I mean, it just looks like rose gold. If somebody didn't tell me that this was bronze, I would think, oh, is that a rose gold watch, right? Is that a plated, plating? But it's not. Genuine bronze. And just, uh, it's, I don't know, just something about bronze that kind of gets me kind of excited, right? Um, we have so many stainless steel watches out there. We have so many cool plated watches. Um, it's really nice to have something a little bit outside the box. And I love when companies do something different, bronze being one of those materials that's just different than stainless steel. Of course, I've seen some brass watches out there in the past, but... Uh, Bronze is pretty cool. So check this bad boy out. So this one's done on a brown leather strap. Um, it is an Aqua C strap. Sometimes companies will actually use a uh, kind of a generic strap they'll find on AliExpress or whatever. This is an actual Aqua C branded strap. And you do have uh, the, I'm going to call this like a, like I believe the buckle on this is actually a plated rose gold buckle. But don't quote me on that. It just has a look that's been plated uh, as opposed to being genuine bronze. So, uh, I mean, still, all right, here's the, here's the thing about this watch, right? This is $199 right now, regular $750. And I know a lot of companies play the retail game, right? We all know it, but generally Aqua C, they do very minor sales. Usually they'll have a release like this and kind of like pump the watch out there and, and, and kind of bring it to, to, uh, to the retail market. And then after that, you'll find the price will jump up. So I encourage you, if you are in the market, for a beautiful bronze dress style dive watch, uh, check this bad boy out. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. So let's talk about the uh, specifics. And about your options. So again, this is done a tiger eye. What's really interesting about this is I was just thinking to myself the other day, uh, looking at one of my Invictas that's got the kind of checkered tiger eye mother of pearl pattern. I actually have that watch on eBay just because I never really get a lot of wrist time out of it, and I have so many. Um, you know, I said, gosh, you know, this watch would have been even better just done in a full tiger eye face. And I haven't seen too many companies doing that, which is really interesting to me because you have a lot of companies using abalone and mother of pearl, but tiger eye is an absolutely incredible looking uh, material used for a watch face. And, and I love the way it looks. I mean, it would look good on silver, it would look good on any color, but how it looks on rose gold, or in this case, bronze, um, it's the perfect model. I think that this one's gonna sell out before any of the other variations. So let's talk about the specifics, and I'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. All right, so, um, 
This is made out of German bronze. I do have listed here rose gold tone. So I think that's pretty accurate. Um, if you've never checked out bronze up close and you have checked out rose gold, it looks exactly like a rose gold tone watch. Um, and it is German bronze. Uh, you have a 41 millimeter case diameter. Uh, lug to lug diagonally, it says it's 52 millimeter. I love that Aquacy is very, uh, they're very specific on all the stuff that watch guys care about, right? This is what people want to hear. 47.3 millimeter lug to lug on one side. Dial is 30.8 millimeter in the diameter. Uh, it says here, all the brush finish have a saw edged bezel. So that's um, a really nice addition. They could have just added something that was uh, just kind of basic, right? And I like the saw edged bezel. You can see it looks like saw tooth or saw teeth. And extremely nice bezel action. I mean, you're not going to have any complaints with this. Um, and uh, very easy to grab. So if you are a guy who uses your watch as a tool, um, this has got a really great grip on it. It's very similar to like a gear edge, but I think the sawtooth kind of bites into your fingers a little bit better. Uh, maybe a little easier turn. Not a huge deal in my opinion, but I like that they did something a little bit different. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I have... Maybe I have one other watch that has a sawtooth bezel. So pretty cool. Um, you have a screw down crown. Uh, let's see, it looks like the case back is 316 stainless steel. So that's the only part of um, uh, anything on this that's other than uh, the bronze as far as the case and bezel. Um, it does have the sapphire crystal, which is a big checkbox for a lot of you folks. Um, it says here though on the case back it has a porthole design with a relief logo. So I guess a porthole, something you'd probably see I believe on like a ship or a submarine or something like that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but um, but it's got the Aquacy logo on the back there. So um, again, screw down crown. Uh, and as far as the crystal, it says here 2.7 millimeter thick with a beveled edge. So I don't know if you can see the edge there, but there is a slight bevel on it. Um, and again, you know, like I said, guys, you're getting that sapphire. I mean, there's not a lot of times when you're getting a sapphire crystal, you're not paying $199 and getting on a, a bronze watch. So pretty incredible. Um, they're gonna they're gonna kill with these. I mean, these are gonna sell out. Um, and when they're gone, I'm sure these are gonna be gone. Um, I, like I said, I've been looking at watches for a long time. The only other bronze watch I have in my collection is by Delta T, and that thing costs fifteen hundred bucks. Um, and, and I don't know if it's, it's like aluminized bronze, which I don't know what that actually means. This is genuine German bronze. So uh, you have Tiger Eye again, and we'll talk about the other color variations. And during this video, I will pop up um, just kind of a snippet from the website so you guys can see the different colors. Maybe maybe the this Tiger Eye isn't for you, but um, I don't see how it couldn't be. It looks beautiful on this color. Uh, it says here it's high quality Japanese loom and a uh, the pip at the 12 o'clock position. Three hand rose gold tone with J uh, Japanese loom. Um, it has a Japanese self winding movement. And thank you, Aquacy. They always do. Uh, they listed the movement. This is a Miyota 8215-21 Joule automatic. 40 hour power reserve. Um, and as far as the band material, they do say it's Italian leather embossed alligator pattern. So it's not actually real alligator, probably cowhide, um, which is pretty standard. Tang buckle, brushed stainless steel in rose gold tone, like I, I mentioned with the Aquacy logo. 20 millimeter band width, fits up to an 8.75 inch wrist. Hour, minute, second date, bronze automatic stone dial. So uh, it also comes with, as far as the packaging, uh, it'll come in a box, of course. But you get your standard Aquacy polishing cloth, you know, kind of nice. Uh, you get a warranty card, just showing the, I guess, the model number and the, looks like the purchase date on here. And uh, then, of course, you get this leather kind of roll. Uh, these are kind of handy, especially if you're going to be traveling somewhere. You can put two watches in there, fold it over. You just wrap it up like so, rather than bringing, you know, a big giant box or something with you. It's an easy way to bring a couple watches with you when you travel. Or uh, if you're like me and you store your watches in a safe, uh, you may not have 190 watches, but, um, you know, this is a very easy thing. Just kind of wrap them up, keep protected, put it away somewhere. Um, now, um, I just want to come back to the leather strap, and I wonder if this is something just with mine or uh, if this is something you're going to find on all these, and I hope it is. The leather on this is almost like a two-tone brown. Um, I love the strap on this. It, you know, a lot of times when I've looked at other leather straps, they're just a one-color brown. I like that there is kind of a gradiate, gradiate, gradiation. There's a kind of a gradient in the pattern or, or the tone. So you can see it's darker on the sides. I don't know if it's more of like a distressed look, but I think that this kind of, and with the stitching, the stitching's got like, I don't know, kind of like a, 
I'm, I'm like a kid when I talk sometimes. <laughs> you got like this kind of like lighter colored stitching. Um, it really just blends really nice with this particular color. Uh, I'm gonna rock this today, this is killer. All right, so as far as the movements, if you're, ne not the movements, the, the uh, <laughs> see, this is why, like, this is why sometimes I can't get a video out without like giggling and acting like a teenage girl. I just like get so excited when I get a new watch. I am like a kid on Christmas morning. Like I said, folks, many times, maybe not to you guys, but never lose your childhood innocence. You know, I mean, life's too short to not enjoy things and be happy and smile and this kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, just, you know, get excited. Be how could you not? I mean, my God. I love it. It's just so awesome that I don't know if I even mentioned it. I ramble on so much when I do these videos, but when I was mentioning about Tiger Eye, I was saying, gosh, they should do a full face Tiger Eye, you know? Anyway, now I was telling you about the Invicta. Um, they did on this, and it's killer. And I haven't seen many people doing it. Um, all right, so let me just take a breather here. Let me, uh, let me just, let me just, I probably shouldn't have any more coffee, to be honest with you. All right, um, so the color variations, you have seven different color variations. Gonna pop, gonna pop up a picture here. When I record these, I don't know which side this is gonna show up on. So on one side of the video, you guys see the picture. Um, we have it in uh, what's called a lapis lazuli uh, face. Now, I'm not really too familiar with, uh, I don't know if that's like, I, I assume it's like a stone of some sort. Um, and I, I should, I, I will look this up, but it almost has almost like a very earthy, kind of like uh, green and um, blue pattern. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a marble, um, and you'll see it during this video, but very cool, very Mother Earth-ish. Uh, to me, it just kind of reminds me of like looking at Earth from space, you know, like you see those uh, kind of pictures. Uh, the other one that really kind of spoke to me too is the turquoise. I'm a huge fan of turquoise. And I didn't mean to do this, you know, we had a turquoise shirt on. Um, I really like turquoise jewelry and that Native Americans type of jewelry. Um, I love how flashy a lot of the Native Americans in that part of the, the um, um, I don't know if it's all, I don't want to overgeneralize here, but I don't know if every Native American culture um, wears a lot of turquoise, but I know like in the Southwest, Arizona, places like that, it is kind of known, I guess, to be uh, worn. You see a lot of Native Americans wearing a lot, and you know, all kinds of people from all walks of life, but I love the flash that comes along with a lot of that jewelry. Like, I love, uh, you ever see those um, large, uh, what are they called, uh, squash blossoms, I think they're called? Um, awesome. I mean, really cool. Of course, you have the uh, the tiger eye. Then you have abalone, which is always a classic. Uh, if you've ever seen abalone, beautiful. But, you know, we, we're seeing a lot more abalone. So, you know, I think if you're a watch collector, you probably have some abalone in your collection already. I just think the tiger eye really blends so well uh, with the bronze. Uh, then, of course, we have a marble, which is like a black marble. The other interesting one was the malachite, I think I'm saying that right, which is like a green, very similar to the pattern uh, on tiger eye where you have kind of like this kind of crisscross back and forth kind of grain, so to speak. Uh, very similar with the green. If you like green, you gotta love that. And of course you have your classic kind of whitish mother of pearl. Um, and each one of these are probably gonna be a little different depending on, I think the one with the most color variation would probably be the white mother of pearl just because mother of pearl does kind of have uh, kind of a different kind of colors in depending on the, the color you go with, whether it be white or black or, you know, they make all different colors. I don't know if they're dyed or tinted or whatnot, but, uh, but there's, you'll find one of these exotic faces for you. And again, I think that this one here, I don't know, man, that this is going to sell out. Now I do, uh, I do, from what I can tell by the picture, depending on which variation you get, the stitching on the band will be a little different. Uh, it looks like the colors. So some are going to come with more of like a darker brown. Looks like some come with almost like, I think it's a black. I think the white Mother Pearl comes with more like a light gray. So again, you know, look at the pictures, decide which one you want to get. Uh, but pick this up while you can. I mean, for 200 bucks. You really can't go wrong. And as always, the links for all these are going to be in the description. I'm just going to link you to the main page, and you can click which one you actually like and which one you want to order. So uh, just absolutely stunning. I will say that as much as I love the strap, I would, I am going to try to find a rose gold shark mesh strap. And I believe Aragon makes one. I had one, and I sent it back years ago. Uh, this would look, you guys know I'm a bracelet guy, so this would look killer on a uh, rose gold uh, shark mesh. 
Um, or if you can find, uh, I don't know if anybody makes a genuine bronze shark mesh strap, but if you can, uh, a lot of times, you know, I, I'm not going to pay more for the strap than the actual watch, of course, but uh, this is just, this is killer. If you're looking to add a rose tone piece to your collection, uh, don't even bother. Get yourself a bronze, though. I mean, it's, it's absolutely stunning. You, If you were to go slap a name on this from like, I don't know, I don't even think you would get this for this price through like Invicta or Aragon, which is incredible that they're they're offering it for this price. I can only assume that this is going to be something they're going to consistently carry. And again, don't quote me on this, but I can only assume this is not a limited edition piece. And I think that this is that they're giving this price uh, like for a limited time just to kind of get some hype out there because there's no reason they should be selling this for this price. So just stunning, just stunning. All right, so without further ado, let's check it out. Let's throw it on the wrist. I'm about five foot. Eight. I weigh about 180 pounds, and I have a seven-inch wrist. So uh, for me, this watch is going to be put on the looks like one, two, three, four, the fourth um, hole. So of course, with leather, you got to break it in a little. It's a little tight when you first put it on. But oh man, oh man, look at this! Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is just a classy piece. And, and, and guys, you know, I have a, you guys know, I have like 190, 195, 197, I, mean, I don't even know anymore how many watches I have. And the cool thing about this watch is that it's almost like a hybrid design, you know what I mean? Um, because you're, you're getting a classy looking dress watch, right? But technically, it's still a dive watch. So you're getting a watch that you can wear in kind of a dress setting, that you can wear in a dive setting. I mean, it's really like a, 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 a hybrid design, you know? You're getting that bronze. You're just getting a look of a dress watch with the durability um, of something that you can really beat on if you want to. Um, <clears throat> pretty, pretty cool. Now, there are so many cool custom strap manufacturers out there making straps that are very nautical, kind of pirate-ish, um, you know, themed. Uh, I know see, I've seen some of them like the real over-the-top dive watch uh, straps that are like full leather. They have like skulls or, you know, or like crossbones. I don't know. You know, it depends on your style, but just like this right out of the box. I mean, this is a beautiful looking watch. And, you know, I kind of compare this style to, you know, you guys know I've reviewed a lot of different Sterling watches on the channel too. And generally, um, I have watches that are more on bracelet, right? They're more of like dive style or kind of flashy. With this, what I like, again, what I really like about it is that this, although it's a, it's a, to me, I mean, again, it's, it's kind of walking the line between dress watch and dive watch. And with this, when I look at a lot of my Sterling watches uh, and more of the traditional watches I have on a strap that are considered dress watches, um, you know, I don't know what kind of abuse they can take. Don't get me wrong, I like Sterling, but when I look at like a Sterling, you know, uh, like Emperor's Grand Dior, just to, to give you an example, very pretty looking, very, very ornate, very beautiful, but... It doesn't have the robust feeling this does, and so I think that if you're if you're gonna really use a watch, you know this is a watch I put my money on being able to stand the test of time and really actually you know be able to abuse a bit. Um, you know this is it, it. It doesn't really get much better than this for a bronze watch. Clean, simple, classy, and absolutely beautiful with that tiger eye. All right, folks, so that is it. I'm going to throw up a few reels later on today to get a little more hype around this. Um, I really want you guys to pick this up. These are the deals that come along where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to post this in the Invicta Addiction Facebook group page as well. These are deals that come along where it's like, get on it, because once they're gone, you're going to miss out. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I always appreciate you guys. I want to thank Aquacy again for their generosity. Um, I, I, it always amazes me every time I get a new watch because um, – you know, there's so many watches out there, but a lot of them kind of, you know, you, you kind of see one, you see them all sort of sometimes. Um, it's great and refreshing to get something that is, again, different for the collection. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, folks, and take care.